That is the video Sophie Ryan fans be waiting for. Sophie Ryan twerking is just made, bro. She tries to post the timeline, but it gets fewer clicks. She deletes it, repost it. You know what I mean? Like, twerking isn't gonna make them buy the OnlyFans because, like, all they want is another Spider Man video. More and more. This groupie dance, TikTok trend, Spider Man pics. After all, you create shit and every model copies that. Like, it's insane, bro. So, you don't wanna fall short, right? And, um,. That's why smaller accounts become relevant rapidly because we got short attention span to kill trends and popular models too. And uh, Safi Ryan tends to repost old stuff and we'll be like, send this shit already. Um, a lot of y'all don't load the wrong Spider Man movie, whisper a fantasy without a goddamn cheerleader. You know what I mean? Um, in my opinion, haters are those that buy only fans and repost them on socials, you know. Um, they create a fan base account, but they never put the original link in the description, right? Later on, delete all the posts if unable to make money off of the account, right? So that's what happens with Hannah Owo, like she ended up being a popular reddit ghost. Um, collabs? Collaborations, right? Um, lovers like it, models dislike it. Okay, here's the thing, it is, it's different here, right? Um, I like a YouTubers collab, uh, where it's like a win-win, somewhat fit-fitty. Um, here in the adult industry, like it's a discreet competition, men don't understand in the meantime, but um, it's a win or lose situation, right? One of the girls gotta be in the backseat while the other gets all the attention within 24 hours. Age. Age matters a lot, right? Like, your marketing strategy changes based on your age. There's a lot of details in there. Anyways, it's a win or lose situation for both models. If you're insecure, she's gonna take all the attention. Yeah, it is what it is. So you gotta be 100% confident. Nobody's gonna teach you how to be confident about your body, right? So you gotta be it. Like, it is what it is. Bro, a lot of these mid females use uh, GTA 6 as um, a reference tag, you know. Uh, the GTA 6 pictures, cosplays, bro. <laughs> the cosplays are just wow. Nobody buys it. They knew like if one person gets it, everyone got it. It is what it is now. So you gotta be a little bit more strategic. Like, don't release too much so you can buy only fans for 10 bucks. Because, like, yeah, it's too easy for them, fan base accounts, to make it way more than the original creator, right? I mean, the original model. Um, here's it. You can buy the only fans for 10 bucks, repost all the stuff online on the fan base accounts, increasing followers. Only fans is simply about momentum, right? So viewers can't wait to, to reload and they volunteer, right? Drop it when they need it. Don't show them too much or else they'll replace you 100% so fans um the fans comment what they need oh do a spider-man video do this do that but don't turn up the hit right don't give it to them too early ah oh, bro you could be popular in in four months three to four months without even doing only fans for now i mean for now but once you create it if you do it the correct way um once you create it, like, you go crazy. The attention and the money comes to your favor, right? Until strategic decline. I call it strategic decline because if you're smart, you value your body in the market. Um, no one does it for you. You've got you only. Bro, it's not even what you're thinking about right now. I'm 100% sure of that. A lot of these models need a coach that knows how the OnlyFans algorithm works. Without even being a drive-by passenger, you can make it. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, like, those models that drop bangers once a week, either on TikTok, Twitter, or even OnlyFans, you know, um, they're the ones that are popping today. And Safi Rain is good at that, but fucks it up sometimes. Um, I might stop it there. Subscribe to the channel. Love y'all.